Hi, this is Sarah of Communication Liberation and today I'd like to talk just a little bit about habits and the relevance in stammering therapy. And I have with me here my toothbrush. Um, so I was thinking about, about how I usually clean my teeth and that I start in a certain place and then what I do next and finish in a certain way when I'm cleaning my teeth. And it's all, it's all pretty much automatic. Um, it's, it's a way that I learnt to clean my teeth and then repeated many, many times until it becomes very habitual, very automatic. And of course this is, a, this is true of um, many things that we do in life um, on a daily basis. And one aspect of stammering is the kind of learned behaviour aspect. It's not the whole story but um, it is an area which is important to consider and can be quite fruitful to consider. But as you will know if you've, if you've tried to change things about your speech already, it's not an easy thing to do because these habits can become very ingrained. And we have habits on, on, on different levels. We have habits of body, uh, habits of mind and habits of speech. So often um, a, a good place to start is to look at your habits in non-speaking situations, so out of the stressful situation, but just um, in, your, in your daily routine, things that you do on a daily basis, and to notice what those habits are and see what it's like to experiment with changing them can tell you quite a bit about your relationship to change, how, um, you know, how open you are to experimenting with things, doing things in a different way, or you know, what that feels like. And um, this can all be really useful preparation for later work on more challenging habits of body, speech and mind connected with stammering.